is Dr. Claire, and today I would be your doctor. So may you tell, may you please tell me your full name? I just need to mm, make sure, um, confirm a few things here. Does that end with an E? It does, okay. Okay, so it says here in the paper that you were cycling in your neighborhood this morning and you fell into a shallow drain. Well, from what I can see here, you're lucky that your injuries aren't too extreme, like the one we got just this morning. Poor guy, it was terrible. So, I can totally patch you up really well. And you have nothing to be nervous about because it's not going to hurt one bit. Or maybe just a little sting sometimes when I clean your wounds. Before we begin, please hold on for a while. I have to fill in a few more details. Mm. And are you allergic um, to anything? Examples? Um, maybe latex, rubber? Any types of medicines or drugs? Not that you know enough? Okay. Okay, I think we're ready to begin. So I assure you that you're in good hands and you don't have to worry about any single thing. So Right now, I'm just going to go through the procedures because I tell you the procedures. I like to tell my patients the procedures of what they're going to be going through so that they will be less nervous because if you know what's going to happen to you next or in the future, you're going to be less nervous and more prepared to what's going to come. Okay, so first, I will be checking your wounds so I can easily see three abrasions on your left arm here and one more on your right shoulder and there's a there's a tiny cut in your jaw and it's bleeding just a bit I will stop that in a second but I'm I think there's some more which I still have to check out and then I will wash and disinfect the wound to remove dirt and debris. And for that, I will use some antiseptic, some betadine antiseptic solution. This is good stuff. So I will be using the Mercial antiseptic spray. And next, I will control the bleeding and swelling with direct pressure and elevation on your right jaw here. I can fix that really quickly, so you don't have to worry. And then lastly, I will just wrap some bandages around your wounds. Stick some bandages on your wounds. They don't need any big clots for your your injuries aren't too extreme or big and it's it can easily be covered by a bandage so i hope i made it clear to you and before you go i'm just going to give you some advice on how to keep your wound clean okay oh i noticed there are two tiny teeny teeny tiny cuts on your right shoulder and your left arm Okay, so now I will start with the procedure of disinfecting the wound and washing it. 
before that, I would like to put on some rubber gloves. This is to ensure my hands are clean so I don't put any extra bacteria or debris into your wounds. I already disinfected my hand and washed it clean, but to make sure, I'm going to apply some latex gloves. It's a priority here. Cleanliness is a priority in this clinic. Also, I understand that you're not in pain now, right? Like, it doesn't hurt anywhere too much now. Yeah, okay. I got that information from the front counter. So, that's good. I don't need to rush too much. We can take our time. After so many years of working in this line of career, I still never got used to wearing rubber gloves fast enough, so I'm sorry if I take such a long time. look around for some wounds that you might have. I can see one on your right shoulder already, right here, and one on your left arm here, and one on your jaw. And a big bruise on your forehead. Okay, I'm going to touch it and tell me if it hurts. Just a bit. Okay, that's good. I'm going to inspect the, the wound on your right jaw first. Okay, it's quite a shallow wound. It's not too big, but it's just bleeding just a bit. Nothing you have to worry about. Inspect your right arm. Please give me your right arm. Okay, thank you. Okay, there's a few bruises, just one tiny cut. On your shoulder, right here. And can you please give me a left arm? Okay, thank you. On your left arm, just, just a few bruises as well and some scratches. And one tiny cut. Okay, so I think we just need about three bandages for that. Okay, 
I'm going to start with the disinfection and the cleaning of your wounds. So please just relax. Because I assure you, assure you that you're in good hands. Okay. I'm going to start by using this cotton square, clean cotton square, to clean your wounds along with some betadine antiseptic solution. Just have to shake it up pretty well first. going to wipe that in your left jaw. I mean your right jaw, I'm sorry. Please give me your right arm. Okay, thank you. Just got to wipe some on your shoulder. And your left arm. Wiping it all over your shoulder to make sure that it's extra clean. I'm going to use this Myrtle. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm sorry if my pronounces is bad. Myrthril, maybe? Spray. Antiseptic spray. Just gonna shake it around a bit. as well. Okay, and now your right arm. All over, and your left arm. Alright. Just have to wipe that with another clean square cotton piece. Okay. 
the right arm and your left arm. Okay, we'll leave the antiseptic to just seep in your wounds and to do its job. We'll just leave it for a couple of minutes. While that, I'm just going to tell you some things about your injuries. So what you have a lot of is abrasions. An abrasion occurs when the skin rubs or scrapes against a rough or hard surface. A road rash is an example of an abrasion. So when you fell and you hit the concrete of the road and the drain, it kind of scraped hardly against your skin, scraped, and there you have a road rash. There's usually not a lot of bleeding, but the wound needs to be scrubbed and cleaned to avoid infection. So that's what I did to you. I scrubbed your wounds and I cleaned them. So it will be totally fine. Now, the open wound on your jaw. An open wound is an injury involving an external or internal break in body tissue, usually involving the skin. Nearly everyone will experience an open wound at some point of their lives. Falls, accidents with sharp objects or tools, and car accidents are the most common cause of open wounds. So it is totally common that anyone in the world will get an open wound at least once in their life. Actually, I think the average person will get at least five or more or even more in their life. So that's totally normal. Okay, I think that the antiseptic has set in and we will go on with our next procedure. I will control the bleeding and swelling on the tiny cuts with direct pressure and elevation. So I just, I'm not going to explain to you how I will do that, but I'm just going to do it. I don't want to waste too much of your time just babbling and rambling about stuff. So, I have to apply pressure to your wound. Okay. And here. That's okay. Next up, the last one, just going to wipe away the excess blood. Okay, now we will go on to bandaging your wounds. And for this part, I'm just going to remove my gloves because I always find it much, much easier to handle bandages without latex gloves because if you just touch the bandages with the latex gloves, they will just stick on your gloves. So just in case you're wearing latex gloves and you want to hold bandages, now you know. It would be super annoying just to pull them out and I usually tear, tear my gloves when I try to handle bandages with gloves. Okay, right here I have some hands plus. It's a universal water resistant bandage. Now I'll be using this one.
So these are the bandages. I'm just going to apply each of them to your white right jaw, your right your right shoulder. I'm sorry, and your left arm. So this part won't hurt at all. It actually feels really nice and satisfying after you have some coverage on your open wounds. Okay, the first one is going to go on your right jaw. going to buy this on your right jaw. Okay, I will apply this in your right jaw. There. Just smoothen that out. Just smoothen that out. And the next one. And this one will go on your right shoulder. This will go on your right shoulder. Mm, right there. Okay. Go our next one.
will go on your left arm. Alright, your wounds are all better now. So, basically, I just cleaned them, put bandages on them, and put some antiseptic on them. I hope your wounds will feel better. There's a little bit of some swelling on the bruises as well. So, for the swelling bruises, I advise you not, don't touch them. Just let them heal on their own. Don't um, poke them with any pointy objects. Don't poke them with your fingers. Don't let your friends poke them too much. Because it will, it might get bigger and get more, um, it might get infected as well if you touch it too much times or poke it with some objects. So I advise you to just leave your swelling alone until it just heals on its own. Let nature do its work. Time heals all wounds. Okay, so basically the treatment I gave you is just a easy treatment that can actually be treated at home. All you have to do next time if you have any more injuries like this. I'm just telling you this earlier so next time you can do it at home. You should wash and disinfect the wound first. Just do all the procedures I just did you just now. And if there's bleeding, stop the bleeding by applying some pressure until it stops. And wipe away all the blood. Then, remember, disinfect some, disinfect it with some antiseptic. You, got, you can buy that in the pharmacy. You can buy it in the pharmacy just next door to this clinic and yeah that's it so to keep the wound to I mean to make the wound heal faster you'll need to keep the wound clean and dry for at least five days you should also make sure you get plenty of rest so rest is really important drink enough water Eat enough food so that your body will heal by itself. So that is it I have for today. Oh, and before I forgot, you told the front counter that you didn't have any bandages, so I'll let you take this box of bandages. I'll include the price of these bandages in your payment fee. Don't worry, it's just really, really cheap. Here, take it. Okay, so I hope I'll see you again one day, hopefully not in the hospital because that means you're sick again and we wouldn't want that. So, it was nice meeting you for today. My name is Dr. Claire, and today I would be your doctor. So may you tell, may you please tell me your full name? I just need to mm, make sure, um, confirm a few things here. you were cycling in your neighborhood this morning 
and you fell into a shallow drain. Well, from what I can see here, you're lucky that your injuries aren't too extreme, like the one we got just this morning. Poor guy, it was terrible. So, I can totally patch you up really well. And you have nothing to be nervous about because it's not going to hurt one bit. Or maybe just a little sting sometimes when I clean your wounds. Before we begin, please hold on for a while. I have to fill in a few more details. Mm. And are you allergic um, to anything? Examples? Um, maybe latex, rubber, any types of medicines or drugs? Not that you know enough? Okay. Okay, I think we're ready to begin. So I assure you that you're in good hands and you don't have to worry about any single thing. So right now I'm just going to go through the procedures because I tell you the procedures. I like to tell my patients the procedures of what they're going to be going through so that they will be less nervous because if you know what's going to happen to you next or in the future, you're going to be less nervous and more prepared to what's going to come. Okay, so first, I will be checking your wounds so I can easily see three abrasions on your left arm here. And one more on your right shoulder. And there's a, there's a tiny cut in your jaw and it's bleeding just a bit. I will stop that in a second. But I'm, I think there's some more which I still have to check out. And then I will wash and disinfect the wound to remove dirt and debris. And for that, I will use some antiseptic, some betadine antiseptic solution. This is good stuff. So I will be using the Mercial Antiseptic Spray. And next, I will control the bleeding and swelling with direct pressure and elevation on your right jaw here. I can fix that really quickly so you don't have to worry. And then lastly, I will just wrap some bandages around your wounds. Stick some bandages on your wounds. They don't need any big clots for your, your injuries aren't too extreme or big. And it's it can easily be covered by a bandage. So I hope I made it clear to you. And before you go, I'm just going to give you some advice on how to keep your wound clean. Okay. Oh, I noticed there are two tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny cuts on your right shoulder and your left arm. Okay, so now I will start with the procedure of disinfecting the wound and washing it. But before that, I would like to put on some rubber gloves. This is to ensure my hands are clean so I don't put any extra bacteria or debris into your wounds. I already disinfected my hand and washed it clean, but to make sure, I'm going to apply some latex gloves. It's a priority here. Cleanliness is a priority in this clinic.
Also, I understand that you're not in pain now, right? Like, it doesn't hurt anywhere too much now. Yeah, okay. I got that information from the front counter. So, that's good. I don't need to rush too much. We can take our time. After so many years of working in this line of career, I still never got used to wearing rubber gloves fast enough. So I'm sorry if I take such a long time. you look around for some wounds that you might have. I can see one on your right shoulder already, right here, and one in your left arm here, and one on your jaw, and a big bruise on your forehead. Okay, I'm going to touch it and tell me if it hurts. Just a bit. Okay, that's good. 